Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm having a wonderful day too. And you know, this is one of the bigger questions I get in my office. I've been getting it for a while, of course. And, and the big question everybody has is, how do you lose weight? And what, 50, 60% of people need to know this because 50, 60% of people are overweight. And 50, 50% uh, of that 60% are actually obese, which means that uh, I think it's 20 pounds over their uh, ideal weight. And that really is not just about aesthetics. It's also about your health. Because your body's designed to function at a certain weight, and when you start putting all that excess weight on, there's something wrong. And the thing is this, that you can't eat healthy and gain weight. It's impossible. The reason you're gaining weight is because you're eating bad foods. Now, you can even be a vegetarian and gain weight because you're not eating the right foods. And that's what I want you to understand, that just because you're eating uh, you know, a vegan diet doesn't mean that you're, you're going to lose weight. It's, also, it's volume. Um, as well as the quality, quality and quantity. So I want to give you some successful tips that I want you to start incorporating into your diet right away because it's going to make such a big difference in your life and you're going to be so happy with it. So whether you've reached your goal and you want to maintain it or you find yourself falling back into old habits. Anybody do that? I do that. If I've lost the weight I want to lose and I start falling back into old habits, all of a sudden you start going, you know, wait a minute, you know, I was doing really well for a while and all of a sudden I started feeling a little weight start to go back on. So it's, it's, it's a simple way to find out what, you, what you're doing wrong and get back on the right path. So just some things I want you to start incorporating into your life. Now, it takes work. It takes dedication. But I tell you what, I used to be overweight. I have stretch marks on my chest, the back of my legs. And I was a kid. I was probably 10, 11 years old. And I couldn't keep up with my cousins, Johnny, Paulie, and Mikey. And we'd all, they'd go, we'd all go out and try to play baseball or stickball. From New Jersey, we played stickball. And these guys were really good. And I couldn't even run, much less be good. And so I finally said one day, I'm just tired of it. You know, and, and I had a patient of mine years ago, and he was a, an alcoholic. He went to AA, and he was a, eventually a, a sponsor in AA. And he said, most people have to hit rock bottom before they do anything. And that's true in just about everything in your life. And, and I'd hit rock bottom, probably 10 years old. And I said, I'm done. I don't want to do this. And so I decided I was going to lose weight. So my trick was that I'd have a big glass of water before my meal to try to make myself feel full. Now, little did I know what I was doing was brilliant. I was just doing it because I wanted to fill up my stomach so I didn't eat as much food. When in reality, many times when you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're thirsty. Because there's two parts of your brain. One part of your brain controls hunger and one part of your brain controls thirst. And those two parts of the brain, when you're little, like a baby, they, they're, you can tell the difference between hunger and thirst. And as you get older, those two parts of the brain grow together. And so you have a real tough time distinguishing between hunger and thirst. So many times, in fact, most times, when you're hungry, you're not really hungry, you're thirsty. So even at 10 years old, I didn't know what I was doing, but it worked because I was making myself feel full because I was just really thirsty. And most of us are dehydrated. Very few people I know drink enough water. And many days, well, many days, some days, I don't drink enough water. You know, you start out your day and you have some water and then life gets in the way and then you get to work and then this and then that and then something else. And I know I can't drink too late in the day because if I drink too late in the day, I wake up and pee, which interrupts my sleep, which also affects then my, my metabolism, my weight loss abilities. So it's, it's really a little tricky. You got to put a little work into this, but you put a lot of work into everything you do except how you treat your body. Most people, I should say most people do that. I'm amazed how hard somebody will study, students, doctors. They may study, take seminars, you know, take online uh, uh, webinars to learn something new. And while they're doing it, they're poisoning themselves. So I want you to put a little bit of work into your health, and I think you'll be really happy with it. So a couple of things I want you to consider. Number one, I want you to eat real food. Now, that sounds strange. What do you mean real food? The stuff that comes in boxes that, that, that line the supermarket shelves, that's not real food. You look at the ingredient list. If you have more than five or six ingredients, chances are I'm not going to call that real food. That edible material, it's supposedly edible, if it's in tins, it's in cans, it's in plastic pouches, it seems like an endless list of ingredients, don't eat it. Here's your rule on ingredients. First of all, it shouldn't have a label. If it has a label, you want to consider not eating it. But if you do eat it, and I eat some things that have labels, I want you to consider this. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. It's just that simple. Eating real food, not man-made junk with the chemicals and the steroids and the hormones and the pesticides and the herbicides and genetically modified foods and the weed killers, that's going to be the key to success. This is the one thing I want you to have as a takeaway today. I'm going to give you a lot more takeaways, but this is the one you, oh, you have to have. 
I can't state that enough. It's likely the main reason you're having trouble losing weight is because you're eating a lot of processed man-made junk. Real foods help reduce inflammation, and that reestablishes your proper hormone communication, which automatically helps your body release fat and burn fat. You stay lean without really trying because the hormones are the things that really make you gain the weight. One of the things. Now, let's talk about the hormones for a second. There are chemicals in canned foods and in plastics. They're called endocrine disruptors. Now, what that means is it acts like estrogen in most cases. And your body, when it has excess estrogen, lays down fat. And then fat becomes a living, breathing organ and starts producing estrogen, which causes you to lay down fat. You see how you get tricked? You get caught in this little trap there? And so you got to be careful with this because you might be eating, oh, well, I'm going to eat organic beans. Well, chances are if they're in a can, there's some bisphenol A in there, that endocrine disrupting hormone bisphenol A. Now, I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you're old enough, but canned foods used to have to scrape the can out to get the food out. And now it slides out. Why does it slide out? It's lined with bisphenol A, which acts as a you know anti-sticking agent. But it's also a chemical. Now, the more acid the food, the more bisphenol A you're going to have because the acid essentially starts to dissolve the bisphenol A from the can lining. Plastics, not a good idea because plastics, when you heat them, release these, these endocrine disrupting chemicals as well. So never, ever, ever under any circumstances put plastic in a microwave. Even if you're using a glass bowl, don't put a plastic coating on top of it. Sometimes you put the plastic wrap on it to warm it up. First of all, you shouldn't be using a microwave ever, ever, ever under any circumstance. I don't have a microwave in my house. I don't think you should either. But if you have one, don't ever use plastic. That's a plastic container and also plastic wrap as well. Now, folks, we're going to have to go to a break. We're going to continue today. Lots of successful fat loss tips, really important things you can do every single day. Now, I archive all my shows on my website, which is drjoesposito.com. So you can go to my website, drjoesposito.com, and just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. And we have hundreds of hours of radio shows there. I'm going to talk about that in a second. One of the tips I want you to do is start to educate yourself on how the body works. So that's all on the website. We videotape my live lectures. And if you're, you're, maybe you're a visual learner, go to my website, drjoesposito.com, and you can watch a lot of the videos as well because some people like to do that. And I'm amazed how many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have watched the videos. They're really cool. So whenever I do a live lecture, I videotape those lectures as well. So that's on the website too. So you might want to consider that. So the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Hey, folks, tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Joe, don't. What we're talking about today are successful fat loss uh, tips. And I used to be fat, so I can say the F word on the radio. And a lot of times when you're hungry, you need to stop when you're 80% full. Because it, this, this is another secret that you need to know. It takes 20 minutes to get the message from your stomach to your brain that you ate. Your stomach releases a chemical called leptin. Leptin goes into your blood, goes into your hypothalamus. The hypothalamus says you're full and sends a message to your body and says stop eating. Well, if you it takes 20 minutes to get the leptin to be produced to get into the blood to go to the hypothalamus. And in that time, you could eat too much. So if you know you're going to eat this much food and feel full, I want you to take 20% away. Now, that's a little tricky sometimes. I know that. And it's, it's wonderful if life was perfect, but it's not. I mean, you know the feeling. You're enjoying a meal. Perhaps you're going for seconds or thirds, and you're caught up in the happiness and the bliss of it all. I did this the other night. I went out with my friend Tim. We went to an Ethiopian restaurant. And most Ethiopian restaurants, if you order a veggie plate, is, is huge. And it's enough for two people, and it's crazy cheap. I mean, it's like 5 $6 a person if you do that. So we went to this one place, and they served us a smaller platter. So we looked at it, and we were both very hungry, and I said, let's just order another one. So we ordered a whole other platter, and by the end of the second platter, we were stuffed. Well, we should have eaten the first one, stopped, waited 20 minutes, or, you know, waited 20 minutes from the time we started, and chances are we wouldn't have needed that whole second platter. Well, we ordered it, and it was way too much food. So you get caught up in the moment, and I get that. You don't always have to get the second. Sometimes just one is enough. Half an hour later, you're, you're like feeling like a beach ball. You're so bloated. Now, you don't need to eat until you're full. In fact, you're probably full way before you feel like you're full. You need a lot less food. So when you start tuning into your body, you can learn to eat only what you're truly hungry for rather than putting too much food in or if you're eating when you're stressed. Anybody do that? You're anxious? You do that? I know you do. Better yet, learn to stop eating. 
do it when you're about 80% full. Now, if you find yourself craving food due to stress, try to find an alternative quick burst of activity or, or even meditation to get away from the food, and that'll help reduce your stress level. If nothing else, if you're stressed out, and my mother used to call it the eats. I got the eats. I just want to sit around and eat all day. So if you got the eats, I want you to take five deep breaths. And what you do is inhale for four, four count of four, hold it for one, exhale for five. This is a trick that I, I've taught you before if you're a regular listener to the show on how to go to sleep at night. You're laying in bed. Your mind is racing. You're wide awake. You got too much going on. Four, a count, inhale to a slow count of four. Hold it for a count of one. Exhale to the count of five. And by doing that, you kick in what's called the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, there's two types of nerves in your body. One speeds you up, one slows you down. The sympathetic speeds you up. The parasympathetic slow you down. So by doing the 415 breathing technique, you actually kick in your parasympathetics and you relax. And many times when you're eating from stress, you just need to kick in your parasympathetics and relax. And what happens is you then give yourself time to get the message from your stomach to your brain, and that'll work. Now, another trick that works real well is I want you to ruin your appetite. Here, I'm going to disagree with your mother. Your mother always said, don't eat anything. Well, my mother did. Don't eat anything. You're going to, going to lose your appetite. Well, good. You should lose your appetite because we unfortunately eat way too much food, especially in the United States. I know this show's heard all over the world, but the United States and a lot of, the, a lot of the developed countries, we just have too much food. So give yourself that chance to feel full. So have a little snack, handful of nuts, two handfuls of nuts. Um, take some rolled oats maybe, add a little coconut milk to it and eat that. 20 minutes before you're going to have your meal. And you will be amazed how much less food you eat. That's why I like to tell people, have a little snack. If, you're, if, you, if you get to work and you have donuts or bagels or bread and butter, have some food before you leave for work. And by the time you get to work, you'll have that ability to stop eating. Now, remember, when you're hungry, you're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. And most of us don't get enough nutrition. So that's where you want to start considering maybe supplementing your diet. Now, I take something called Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. If you're not taking these, you should be. And I'll tell you why for multiple reasons. Number one, most of us don't get nearly enough of the nutrition we need to just run our body at the minimal level. And by doing Super Greens and Essential Source, you're giving your body at least the nutrients that you need for the day. Now, it's two powders. I take it, mix it with coconut milk or almond milk because I don't do dairy products and or any animal products. And I mix it in a glass jar, glass jar, not plastic. Plastic has chemicals in it that can affect my hormones. Shake it up, and I drink it. And it's amazing. Every single day. I can't remember a day in the past, I don't know, 10 or 15 years since I invented this stuff that I haven't gotten an email or a phone call or a patient tells me, Doc, that stuff's amazing. How, how have I ever lived without this stuff? I have one guy, he actually came in, and he's in his mid-50s, and he says, I hurt myself. And I said, okay. So as a chiropractor, my team of doctors and I are looking at him and saying, okay, what'd you do? I was doing yard work. And I said, why? You know, what happened? He said, well, I took a double dose of super greens and essential source, and I had so much energy, I didn't want to stop, and I overworked myself. And I said, well, if there's ever such a reason, a good thing as a good reason to get hurt, that's a good reason to get hurt. He overdid it. So minimum amount of nutrients, super greens, and essential source, and that helps tremendously with my appetite. I have it first thing in the morning, and I tell you what, I can go easily till lunch without a meal. Now, sometimes, every now and then, I'll get a little hankering around 10 o'clock or so, and I'll just have a couple of handfuls of nuts. But I'd say 90% of the time, if I have super greens and essential source for breakfast, I'm good till lunch really is amazing stuff because, again, you're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. And what we're doing today is we're giving you successful fat loss tips, and that's a tip is give your body nutrition. And you'll be amazed because you're thinking to yourself, well, I have to eat you know, a steak with a little bit of broccoli and a baked potato and a piece of bread and a dessert, and that's your meal. And yet you one day you decide you're going to have a, I don't know, a bag of Brussels sprouts. That's one of, my, one of my meals that I eat on a regular basis. I'll take a bag of Brussels sprouts, put a little olive oil on it, salt, pepper, balsamic vinegar, a little bit of garlic salt, put it in the uh, broiler, broil it. I like it when it gets just a little caramelized. And I'll eat a bag of Brussels sprouts. And you're thinking, what? That's an insane thing. Bag of organic Brussels sprouts on sale about a buck fifty. A little bit of oil, vinegar, maybe two bucks total. And I tell you what, you eat that, you will feel so full. You will enjoy it so much. And then when the donuts and the cookies and the bagels all appear, you're not going to have any cravings whatsoever.
It really is amazing. I promise you. Try it and see. Because again, when you give the body the nutrients that it needs, it doesn't have the cravings. Those cravings are telling you, hey, give me nutrients. And what do you usually do? You give it junk food. And then the body says, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. I want nutrients, not junk food. And then it gets hungry again. And the hunger is just your body saying, hey, I, I need, need to load up on my nutrients. Good example, I went to visit my mom a while ago up in New York, and, and I had a piece of Italian bread. Now, I hardly ever eat bread, and it was just spectacular. And I ate it, came back home in the grocery store that day. I'm looking at the bread going, I should buy some bread. I don't eat bread. I had one piece, and it was delicious. But as soon as your brain gets stimulated, from a, just like a drug, once you have a little bit, your body loses its mind. Now, if you want to get the Super Greens, the essential source, those are on my website, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. They're also on Amazon if you have an Amazon account. Folks, I got to go to a break. Don't go anywhere. Do me a favor. Tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. About the show, we're going to be. Hey, folks, thanks for being here. Glad you could spend a little time with me today. I am Dr. Joe. If you're just joining us, I, I, I didn't actually introduce myself. I'm sorry. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Um, board certified in chiropractic, board certified in orthopedics, double board certified in nutrition, board certified in pain management. That's five board certifications. BS in clinical nutrition, retired dietitian, award-winning author, and this show is heard coast to coast and around the world because of nice folks like you demanding in your town, we want Dr. Joe. And so that's why stations pick this show up. Literally every week we're adding new stations, which is great. And I've been in practice over 32 years, and I still practice. I still practice full-time. So I, I, I'm in the mix of it. I'm not somebody who just does a show and says, oh, this is what I heard or this is what I read. I'm seeing patients. And I have five other doctors that work with me. I have three locations. And so I know what's going on And I, because I've treated thousands, tens of thousands of patients. And I'm a patient too. And that's something that people kind of forget. I've got back pain and neck pain and shoulder pain periodically. I've got the, I have had digestive problems for years until I finally figured out how to fix it. I had to teach my interns how to fix me. Um, so I'm a patient too. And so every time we do a show, every time we get together, I learn something too, and I, or I reinforce something that I already knew. So today we're talking about commandments for successful fat loss, the things you need to do every day. You got to make this a habit. You can't try to lose weight part-time. It becomes a lifestyle. And it's not hard. It's easy. And in fact, it's cheaper than anything you're doing right now, easier than anything you're doing right now. And give me three days. And after three days, you're going to say, I feel so much better. I, my, my brain is clear. I'm going to the bathroom better. My love life's improved. My breath doesn't stink. It's amazing what happens because you have to eat anyway. You might as well eat good food. And that's what I want you to understand. It's, uh, so many people think, well, you know, the only thing around is donuts and cookies and, and bagels. How am I going to do this? 95-plus percent of the patients I do nutrition consults with, I do it to all our patients, by the way, Say, yes, Dr. Joe, I can do this and this and this. Some do most, some do all, and a few do nothing when it comes to that. And, I, and then I get that. I had a fellow in the other day, and he's got hardening of the arteries. He's already had two surgeries on his neck to clean out his arteries. Um, took an x-ray. He's about halfway to almost death. At, 50, at 55 millimeters, you can see what's called a calcified aortic aneurysm. And at 55 millimeters, it, we have to, I have a rule in my office, the patient doesn't leave the office. We call an ambulance, we put him in the ambulance and get him to a, car, a, a vascular surgeon immediately. That's my office rule. He was about halfway there. It was about 25 millimeters. Um, you can see the hardening of the arteries. It was 25 millimeters wide. And I said, you're halfway there. And I said, so what brings you in today? And he says, when I lift my head up to look up, I get dizzy and I want to pass out. So when he lifts his head up, he's cutting off the blood supply to his brain because his arteries are so clogged up. And I looked at his diet, and sure enough, it's, it's typical standard American diet, you know, burgers every day for lunch, bacon and eggs for breakfast, uh, steak for dinner, no, no fruits, no vegetables, no nuts, no seeds, nothing raw, no supplements. And he argued with me a little bit. Well, Doc, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can do that. And his wife finally stood up, got right in his face, and said, you will do everything Dr. Joe says or I'm leaving you. Do you understand? And he just looked at her. She sat back down. He said, tell me what I need to do, Doc. And it's interesting because he didn't think that he could ever change his diet. It had to be meat, you know, meat and uh, three sides or whatever, potatoes and French fries and breads and beer. And, and it's not hard. It's easy. In fact, it's easier than anything you can imagine because once you do it for three days, you start to feel good and you never want to change your mind. So be mindful of what you eat. Enjoy what you eat. So many of us lose our way because our lives are, are an autopilot. 
We never pay attention to what we're doing, what we're saying, what we're thinking, what we're feeling. And that's especially true when it comes to eating. We have these habits. Now, it's way too easy to eat one or two or three donuts on the way to work in the morning. When you get into work, I know here in the studio we have an area called the trough. And on the trough is interesting. Anybody that has anything they don't want to eat or they want to give away, they just put it on the trough and all the animals in the studio come and eat it. And uh, Ahmad's sitting here laughing at me because it's, 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 it's true, Ahmad's, right? Ahmad's nodding his head, absolutely. It is very true. Very true, right? You put it on the trough and anybody will eat it. Doesn't, I think you could put toenail fungus out there and somebody would be eating it. <laughs> I know sometimes I'd come in as stale bread. And it's, it blows my mind. It's, it's four, five, six full loaves of stale bread. And I'm thinking, who leaves stale bread? And then it's gone. So somebody's bringing in stale bread and somebody's taking stale bread. But it's so true. That the junk is there. And if it's there, you're going to eat it unless you're mindful of what you're doing. I walk past it, look at it, and laugh. I said, there's stale bread there. I've seen wedding cake out there. I've seen birthday cakes out there, half eaten. (laughs) Always amazed. Happy birthday, somebody. You know, Sharon? I don't know. And people are just (laughs) nibbling away. If it's there, you're going to eat it. So be a mindful eater. Think, do I need this? And the the answer is no. It's real easy to sit down with a, a big order of French fries while you're doing your spreadsheet or repairing your, re, pre, preparing your paperwork. You got to get your report into the boss. Oh, let me just get some French fries. The worst thing you can do, because French fries have things like saturated fats in them, and saturated fats can clog up your arteries and make your blood thick. I donate blood on a regular basis. I believe all men, especially, and women postmenopausal, should be donating blood if they, if they um, are able, because we build up too much iron in our diet. And as a plant-based person, and especially if you're a meat eater, you're going to get a lot of iron in the diet. You want to get the iron out of the diet because the iron oxidizes. It can actually increase your risk of heart disease. So I donate blood every chance I can. And it's interesting. When they stick the needle in my arm, I tell them my blood's going to come out faster than what you used to. And they're like, meh, 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 meh. And then they walk away, and a few minutes later, they come back. Oh, my gosh, you're right. My blood comes out about twice as fast as everybody else's because I remember one day I had this heavy set woman next to me. She's a big one. And she just, they stuck the needle in the same time. And sure enough, my bag was full about half. My bag was full. Hers about half full. Because when you eat clogging saturated fats or hydrogenated oils, it clumps your red blood cells together. And when you clump red blood cells together, you get tired. How many people get tired after lunch? Raise your hands. A lot of you. I know you do because you come to my offices and I talk to you. When you call me and you send me emails. Oh, if you have a question, folks, always, you can always send it to me through my email, drjoesposito.com is my website, and you can just send it through the website, and I'll gladly answer any questions you may have. So what I'm amazed at is that you eat something for lunch, and then you're exhausted. And no one seems to put together the fact that they just ate pepperoni pizza, and now they're tired. Think about it. Be mindful of what you eat, and be mindful how you feel. If you eat pepperoni pizza and you're tired, (gasps) novel idea. Don't eat pepperoni pizza. Have a salad one day and don't put ham and cheese and and blue cheese dressing on it. Have a regular salad, maybe with some apple cider vinegar and some uh, extra virgin olive oil. Notice how you feel after eating the salad. Notice how you feel after eating the pizza. Mindful eating. And once you start to realize how bad what you're eating makes you feel, you'll be able to change your diet. I don't want to be tired. I don't like being tired. You don't like being tired. It affects your performance at work. It prevents your performance at home. It prevents your performance in your relationships. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. That's what's happening. You're making yourself sick. You're clumping your red blood cells together. So be a mindful eater and notice how you feel. Maybe don't eat in front of the television. Don't eat in front of the computer. Maybe sit down and just have a meal. It's hard. I, I'm, I'm, it's hard for me too. I'm a single guy. I go home. I want to have some dinner. I pop on the TV and I eat and I kind of get lost in my food sometimes. Folks, got to go to a break. If you have questions, send them to me through my website, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. If you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, my books, listener video, videos and audios, drjoesposito.com. Or just Google Dr. Joe. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Thanks for being here. This is Dr. Joe Esposito. That's me. And we're talking today about the, some commandments I want you to put into your life for successful fat loss, the things that you need to do every single day. Now, years ago, I remember I had a, an IT guy. And he listened to my show, and he said, you know, you're the best thing on radio. He worked in radio before. He says, you're the best thing anywhere in the country on radio. He says, you're, you're just amazing. He says, but one thing is you got to tell people they don't have to do everything at once. They can do a little bit at a time. 
And it's true, and I, I, I do fail to say that. Now, if you don't have to do everything I say, but do something. You know, there's a song, you know, say something, I'm giving up on you. I don't want to give up on you. I want you to do something so I don't have to give up on you. And you don't have to give up on you. So do something. And you'll be amazed what ha- if you just drink water. That, that, that's step one. How It's free. It's amazing how easy that is and how much better you'll start to feel. Think about what you're eating. You know, we've talked about several things. I want you to work out less, but I want you to move more. Because one of the things I see with athletes is many times athletes overtrain. Even professional athletes, they work out and work out. They've made it to the pros and they hit a wall and they can't get any further. The body needs rest in order to go to the next level, but it can't get too much rest. It's what we call the Goldilocks zone. Are you eating the right amount of food? Are you exercising the right amount? Are you sleeping the right amount? It's called the Goldilocks zone. But never underestimate the importance of just moving. Not running a marathon, not bench pressing a couple hundred pounds, but simply getting off your butt and moving around. Now, it's really all about these micro movements that make the difference. Right now, I'm in the studio. I'm standing up. Ahmad's in the studio. He's standing up. My producer. Why? Because when we stand up, our body, first of all, is going to work better. But this little motion, my muscles have to contract to support me so I don't fall forward. I don't fall backwards. I have to be able to stand up straight, bring my shoulders back so I can breathe, get oxygen in so I can talk to you guys. These little movements, these micro movements make such a big difference when it comes to your health. It's huge. So most of us are trapped behind a desk. And when we're not, we're sitting in our car, we're on our way to the desk, we're on our way from the desk, we're on our way to the couch, we're on our way from the couch. Get up and move. And a real simple thing you can do is get a pedometer. A pedometer is a little thing. You can buy it, put it on your belt. Now, don't use the one to have them on your phone. Don't use that one. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Put the pedometer on your belt, and I want you to walk about 10,000 steps a day. Now, most of us are already walking five or 6,000 steps a day anyway. I want you to add a few thousand steps. Now, how do you do that? Take the stairs. You know, take a walk around the block at lunch. Get up an hour earlier. Do some stretches. Clean a house. There you go. Just put your pedometer on and vacuum. Now, I don't have any uh, carpets anywhere in my house because carpets are just a breeding ground for disease. So I have hardwood. So I got a little steam machine. I can get out and steam my carpet, steam the tiles. And you want to get around 10,000 steps a day. And that's going to keep your muscles strong, and it's going to keep your metabolic rate high. The key to movement is the mindset that's going to keep you trim. you got to stay in motion. How can I take more steps? I tell my patients, you can park right outside my offices if you want, or you can park far away and walk. And it always warms my heart when I see a patient parking on this other side of the office, uh, other side of the parking lot and walking, or even on the other side of the building and walking around. And I'm thinking, they got it. They heard me. They're doing one thing. And that little thing is going to make such a big difference. But the reason I don't want you using a pedometer on your phone is phones release something called electromagnetic frequencies. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a whole show on electromagnetic frequencies and the new research that's out. I've done it before, but there's new research that just came out on how it affects the cells and the mitochondria, how your body utilizes calcium. Really neat research that just came out on electromagnetic frequencies. And it's kind of fun. I I gave a lecture at Life University the other day. They've been begging me to become a a professor there. I I just don't have time. But I told them I'd guest lecture. And so I had a bunch of students there, chiropractic nutrition students. Uh, Some of them were medical students. And I did a whole hour and 45 minutes on nutrition, and they were just blown away. It was great. They didn't want to get up and take a break. I said, all right, it's halfway through. Anybody want to take a break? No, keep going, keep going. And I showed them some real cool stuff about food and and physical things. And if you go to my website, drjoesposito.com, I didn't videotape that lecture, but I videotape a lot of my lectures. And many times I'll do demonstrations on what happens to the body when toxic chemicals get in your body. One of the tricks I do, tricks, one of the demonstrations I do is I'll have somebody put their arm out to the side of their body, have them stand next to me, and I'll push on their arm and they'll be strong. Then I'll have them either eat or even hold a toxic chemical in their hand. When you're thinking toxic chemicals, you're thinking, oh my God, gasoline or kerosene. No. How about artificial sweetener? How about sugar-free gum that has artificial sweetener in it? Any type of toxin. I'll have them hold it in their hand And what happens is your skin is a sponge and it absorbs these toxic chemicals. And within 30 seconds, they can't hold their arm up anymore. Their muscles go weak. And so when you do it with food, it's it's a fun little dog and pony show and it's very impressive. And and the students were just just eating this up, pardon the joke. And they said, wow, that's amazing. And the guy sat down and he took his phone and he put it in his pocket as he sat down. I said, stand up. 
He said, what? The guy just tested. I said, give me your phone. He takes his, I take his phone, put it on the counter, push on his arm. It's strong. I said, I want you to take your phone, hold it against your chest. I went to push on his arm, and he almost fell over. The electromagnetic frequency, these radio waves, this radiation that's coming off your phone is actually short-circuiting your nervous system. Now, as a chiropractor, I want to make sure you have a healthy nervous system because that's going to help your metabolism. It's going to help you lose weight. It's going to help you have energy. And the nervous system controls everything so you can affect it chemically or physically. And chemically, or in this case, electronically, you're short-circuiting your body. So another trick I want you to do to maintain your energy, to maintain your motion, to maintain your metabolism, to maintain your weight loss is don't keep your cell phone in your pocket. Ladies, don't put it in your bra. I've seen that already. Ladies, put it in their bra. And that electromagnetic frequency actually changes the mitochondria, the part of the cell that produces energy and alters cell function. So what I do is I take my phone and I, I put it in my back pocket, never in your front pocket. Ladies and gentlemen, you have important things in your front there. And if I, have to, if I can carry it in my hand, I do. But if I have to put it in a pocket, back pocket, as soon as I get to where I'm going, in my car, uh, in my office, at home, I take it out and I put it on the counter. And at night, I, sh I have Wi-Fi at my house. I shut off the Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi itself is electromagnetic frequencies. And again, are you going to die from it one day? No, but we're being bombarded with electromagnetic frequencies, which is altering the DNA and the mitochondria. And the mitochondria produce energy, which then increases your metabolism. And we don't want to mess with your metabolism. We're trying to increase your metabolism, not decrease it. So if you want to watch videos, we have them on my website. A lot of my lectures are there, drjoesposito.com. We videotape my, um, my, my semi-live lectures. We all, my radio shows are there, hundreds of hours of radio shows, all free. My gift to you. Uh, everyone should be taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. That's the minimum amount of nutrients you should be taking. And if you haven't done it yet, I challenge you, I plead with you actually, to do it for a month. There are two powders. I mix it with coconut milk, ramen milk. You'll be amazed how good you feel. And again, that's on the website, drjoesposito.com. Also on Amazon. If you have an Amazon account, you can order it on Amazon as well. We make it easy for you. But my books are there, books that I've written, uh, other products, uh, colon cleansers, immune boosters. That's all there too. Hey, folks, got to go to a break. Tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks, glad you could be here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm certainly having a wonderful day. We're talking today about probably one of the biggest questions. Well, the third biggest question I get. Number one question I get as a chiropractor is pain. What do I do about my pain? Number two is digestive problems. Acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating. And, and we teach people, and we can, we're going to incorporate that in today's show as well, that if the stomach pushes up against the diaphragm, you're not digesting your food properly. And if you're not digesting your food properly you're not producing the right amount of leptin, which is a hormone that's released in your stomach and goes to your brain and makes you feel full. Now, I've never seen research on that statement I just made, but I know it works because I know when, I, when my stomach is pushed up against my diaphragm, I just want to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Even though my stomach hurts and it's bloated, I can look at it, it looks like a basketball in there, I still want to keep eating. And yet as soon as I get my stomach worked on, within 20 minutes, I'm not hungry anymore. So I'm assuming that that statement is true because leptin is produced in the stomach, and if the stomach isn't working, it's probably not producing leptin, which goes up to your hypothalamus and makes you feel full. Hypothalamus is in your brain. So we're going to talk. We, the, the number three question I get is I need to lose weight, and most people have that question. They look in the mirror. They're just not happy with their body. They got body image issues, and the way to do it is to just eat good foods, a lot of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And mostly vegetables. And I say, I tell my patients this to all my patients, whether they need to lose weight or not, is I want you to have at least one vegetable meal a day. Now, I say vegetables, all vegetables. You can have broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, salad, all vegetables. I know an avocado and tomato are fruits, I know, but they will make believe they're vegetables for today. At least one vegetable meal a day. So that could mean a salad for lunch, which is great. I add something called nutritional yeast to my salad. Nutritional yeast is a great source of B vitamins. And B vitamins give you energy. So you can do B vitamins, which make you feel good. They have, it's high in protein. It's high in good fats. And it's a powder. It kind of looks like yellow powdered mashed potatoes, for lack of a better word. And I, it's real savory, rich flavor. It kind of tastes, I guess, kind of like cheddar cheese if I had to give you a, 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 something to compare it to. But just spectacular. So I have at least one vegetable meal a day, and you should too. Uh, we talked a, a while ago about Brussels sprouts. I love to broil up Brussels sprouts. Another trick I do is I'll grab a bag of uh, frozen broccoli florets, and I'll just boil them up, 
and I'll add some olive oil and then some nutritional yeast, some salt and pepper, maybe some oregano, maybe a little bit of garlic powder, and I'll just mix it together. It kind of becomes like a casserole, and, and uh, the nutritional yeast kind of coats the broccoli. You can do this on any vegetable, really, and kind of puts a coating on it almost. It's delicious and so filling, so inexpensive, and it's, I'm guessing, if I do, I think about it, it's, it's a negative calorie food. You're going to burn more calories than what you're going to eat. And even though the fat has calories in it, fat is metabolized differently than carbohydrates. So it's essentially a zero-carbohydrate meal, spectacular filling, uh, B vitamins in it, really is a fun little trick. And those are some of my go-to foods. When I just don't have the time or I don't have the energy or I just don't feel like making a big meal, salads, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, peas, a little higher in carbohydrates, but I'll take a bag of peas and the same thing, olive oil, nutritional yeast, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic if I want to get crazy, mix it up. Very filling, easy, quick, cheap. So some of you say, well, I don't know what to eat when I get home at night. There you go. I just gave you three great ideas. And it's so in, it's two, $2 for the meal, literally. And you feel great and you'll be amazed because it's a lot of fiber. It cleans out your bowels. The fat helps your brain work better. It's omega-9 fatty acids in the olive oil. Make sure it's organic, extra virgin olive oil. Just great. Little trick. I don't know if you ever heard me talk about this. It's a fun little trick. So many companies are using fake olive oil. Or they'll take olive oil and they'll mix it with some cheaper oil because olive oil can be expensive, and they'll sell it to you and you think you're getting extra virgin organic pure olive oil. Take your olive oil, supposed olive oil, and put it in the refrigerator. Leave it overnight. Get it the next day and look at it. It should be cloudy. If it's not cloudy, it's not real olive oil. Take it back to the store. Tell the manager, Dr. Joe said, this is how you test for real olive oil. This isn't real olive oil. Even though it says it on the label, and big scams, major companies, some of the big box stores selling their own brand. Now, again, they don't make their own brand. They have it private labeled, but they're selling their own brand, and it wasn't even 100% olive oil. So just be careful with that. If you're going to spend your money, which you should, by the way, you should spend it on the good stuff. And the cool part about eating right is that it's so much cheaper than anything you're doing right now, and you'll have so much money left over. I've had a lot of people come to me and say, Doc, I'm really on a tight budget, and I want to eat right, and I tell them how to eat. And within a week or two, they say, Doc, this is amazing. Not only am I taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, which are two supplements everybody should be taking. They're on my website, drjoesposito.com. They're powders. And I mix it with coconut milk in a glass jar, shake it up. They said, I've saved so much money doing what you've told me, I'm now buying it for my friends, the Super Greens and the Essential Source. It's relatively inexpensive, and it's amazing what you get for, for the, the, the amount of money you spend. is just crazy. And, I, and they said, I still have money left over. So you'll save so much money just by eating right. You know, a typical day might be super greens and essential sauce for breakfast, a couple of handfuls of nuts for snack, maybe some broccoli, some Brussels sprouts, a salad for lunch, and then you kind of be a little more playful at dinner. But you just saved so much money on breakfast and lunch, and you have all your energy and drinking a lot of water. You have all your energy. You work harder. Your boss is going to notice that. Believe me, I'm an employee and an employer. And when I'm the employer, when I put my employer hat on, I notice who has energy in the afternoon. I notice who picks up the trash on the lawn outside my office when they come in. I notice who changes the toilet paper when the toilet paper's out in the bathroom. These little things go so far. And I'm not the only one. All the bosses I ever know say the same thing. Oh, we know who's, who's the team player and who's just riding the clock. And so we, the bosses, notice these things and look for it. And you'll have so much more energy, you'll be amazed how much better you feel, and how much money you're going to save. So why not do it? And the Super Green is an essential source. Look, look information on the website, drjoesposito.com. It's also on Amazon as well. If you have an Amazon account, you can do that as well. So we're talking today about successful fat loss tips. And there's several things you want to do. You want to build muscle and not go for that long cardio workout. Because we're finding now that things like uh, uh, marathons, those are not really the best things for you. That's not how the body is designed to work. It's a furnace, and it's designed to burn fuel, but it burns fuel in bursts. So I call it, uh, well, it's, I'm not the only one, it's called uh, high-intensity intermittent training, H-I-A-T, H-I-I-T, where you do something really hard for about 20 or 30 seconds and then rest for about minute, minute and a half. And if you can do that, even like squats or burpees, they're called, you'll be amazed. Folks, got to go to break. My website, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. You can send me questions through the website. Order Super Greens, Essential Source, my books, great source of information. We also archive our radio shows there. Hey, don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Tell your friends. 
Hey folks, I am Dr. Joe Esposito and I'm glad you're here. I really am because I know everybody's busy and I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to be with us because we always give you information to help you get well and stay well. And I've got to say this before. I want you to follow me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. Just look me up, Dr. Joe Esposito, Joe Esposito, because we send out good information. Sometimes if the show, uh, we're changing topics, or if we're going to do a special show, we have uh, a special lecture coming up. Sometimes it's in your area. That I want you to stay informed. So follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I really want you to be informed. And if you want to sign up for our newsletter, we send out a newsletter, not very often, but you can go to my website, drjoesposito.com, and uh, just send us a message. Say, please put me on your newsletter, give me your email address, and we'll do that. We never give out your email address. Don't worry. Uh, but we like to send out good tips, and we do send out tips uh, maybe once a week, I guess. And it's just kind of fun. Too real short, nothing, not going to take up your whole day to read it. But we'd love to stay in touch with you. DrJoeEsposito.com is the website. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Do it right now. It's always fun when I say that. It's always cool because then I look at my Facebook page and my Instagram thing, and boom, people all over the world say, following Dr. Joe. It's kind of neat. So we're talking today about ways to lose weight, successful fat loss tips. And before the break, I said something interesting, and I know a lot of you got a little nervous about that. Your body, like I said, is is like a furnace. It burns calories all day. Now, general thinking is that working out accelerates uh, calorie burning. It does, but it's not quite as simple as that. At most, exercise accounts for about 15% of your total caloric expenditure. What's called your basal metabolic rate actually accounts for 70% of the calories you burn every single day. So it makes sense to focus on your basal metabolic rate and not the working out, right? The only way to do that is increase what's called your lean body mass, your muscle to fat ratio. And that means skip, skipping the treadmill um, and doing more resistant exercises to build muscle mass. Now, you also got to lose the fat. That's the other thing, too. And that's what we're kind of talking about today, ways to reduce fat. But the more muscle you have, the more fat you'll burn, which means the more muscle you'll have, which is kind of interesting. But getting that fat down is going to be key, and you got to cut out the carbohydrates. The carbohydrates are the breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, anything with wheat, any type of grain, sugars. These are the things that are causing you to gain weight. Because when you eat sugar, it's converted into glucose, and glucose is used as fuel. Once all the cells are filled up with fuel, it converts into uh, uh, glycogen, and it's, that's where we store your energy. It's your reserve tank. Once all the glycogen stores are filled up, it converts into triglycerides and gets stored as fat. So if you have high triglycerides, what that is is that's your excess sugar being getting sent to your fat cells. And so if you have high triglycerides, another reason you got to cut out the breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas. Everyone needs to cut out the breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas. Does it stink? Yes. Is it hard? Yes. Is it worth it? Heck yes. It's hard, though, because it's so tempting because when you eat sugars, it stimulates what's called the nucleus acubens in your brain, and that's the part of your brain that gets you high. It releases dopamine, and dopamine is the neurotransmitter that makes you feel like you're in love. Makes you happy. That's phenylethylamines that make you feel like you're in love. But dopamine is one thing that's released when you first fall in love with somebody. We've all been there, right? You're in a relationship. You meet this person. You just Google Gaga over them for about six months or eight months. And that's the dopamine phase. Then, if it's a healthy relationship, it switches from the dopamine phase into the bonding phase, the oxytocin phase. That's a chemical in your brain. That's a bonding neurotransmitter. And so once the dopamine fades... Some people are addicted to the dopamine phase. You've met people like this. They're serial monogamists. What that means is they go from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship. And they're not cheating. They're not out there, you know, having a bunch of different partners. But they're just crazy in love with somebody until the dopamine wears out. And then they're like, oh, this person is so annoying. And then they look around. They find somebody else, put their claws into that person. And then they get their dopamine rush again. And so they're just like an addict. They're getting high. And they're getting high off new relationships. So it's an interesting thing. And if you know somebody who's like that, a little counseling here for you. You know, you have a friend, let's say. It is a, it's, a, you know, it's a guy, I maybe have a girlfriend, and I see her jump from relationship to relationship, and I keep thinking, oh, she's perfect. I would like to be her next boyfriend. And then suddenly that relationship ends. I jump in. Yeah, you'll do. And she's going to do it to you too. It's the same thing. She just had she or he, I'm not saying any, you know, specifically. They have to get this dopamine rush. And one the dopamine will fade in every relationship. It has to. And when the dopamine fades, if you don't go to oxytocin, some people aren't capable of it, then you you're gone. 
and they're on to the next dopamine rush. So anyway, what happens is when you eat sugar, it gives you dopamine rush. And so that's why you got to cut it out. So cardio destroys your body and depletes vital fat-burning hormones like T3, which is produced by your thyroid gland, growth hormone, and testosterone. So your goal should be to do heavy weights about four or five to eight reps, and then you're at exhaustion. So you don't have to do high reps with low weight. You can do high weight with low reps, and that's what's really going to build muscle mass if you're doing weights. You can do squats. Everybody brush their teeth. Say yes, please. Okay. When you're brushing your teeth, do squats. I do this in the morning. There's a visual for you. Uh, you know, as I'm brushing my teeth, got my electric toothbrush. Ahmad's laughing at that one. I got my clothes on. Don't worry. And uh, so I'm brushing my teeth and just doing squats. And you don't have to go all the way down to the ground. Just little contractions of the muscles make a big difference. And electric toothbrush set for two minutes. You got two minutes of squats. It's very simple. Cleaning the house, of course, is good. Now, as a chiropractor, I always worry that you're going to hurt your back, of course. So when you clean your house, chiropractic tip, fun tip, if you're going to run a vacuum or a sweeper or something, do about four or five strokes with one hand, switch hands, and do four or five strokes with the other hand. This way you're building up balance. Because so many people work out, and as a chiropractor, I tell them, you're building up strong muscles around crooked bones. I want you building up strong muscles around straight bones. And we do that by adjusting the spine chiropractically, making sure you're eating a very low inflammatory diet, staying away from what I call the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, eating more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, only a few fruits a day, two or three pieces a day, at least one vegetable meal a day, totally vegetable, Taking supplements like Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, that's the minimum amount of nutrients you should be taking every day. And you can get those on my website or on, if you have an Amazon account, we have an Amazon page as well. And the website is drjoesposito.com or just Google Dr. Joe. You're going to be amazed. When you start taking this, it helps me tremendously with my appetite. Now, you got to set up an environment to win. You've got to be ready to win. And just like anything else, if you're going to be a boxer, you're going to have gloves and you're going to have a punching bag, you're going to have a ring and you're going to have a headgear. You have to have an environment or the tools you need to achieve your goals. Come to my offices. Everything's run by computer. I have to have my computers running to achieve my goals. So you want to set up an environment to win. And if, if it's in the house, you're going to eat it. That's my general rule. So you want to get the bad stuff out of the house. Clean your house and clean up your social life as well. If you have friends that like to go drinking and you're tempted when it comes to drinking, you might want to find new friends. If you have friends that go out for dessert and are overweight and you don't want to live that lifestyle anymore, it might be time to find some new friends. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. It's okay to find new friends if these friends are not helping you reach your goals. And you can keep them as a peripheral friend, I call them, but maybe not as your main friend. Folks, got to go to a break. If you have a question, send it to me through my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. If you want to receive our newsletter, send me an email, and we'll put your email, your name on our email list. Uh, if you want to order Super Greens, Essential Source, Dr. Joe's books, they're all on the website. Or listen to archived radio shows and videos, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Hey, folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Glad you could spend a little time with me today. We're talking today about little secrets that you can use to help you lose weight. Fat loss secrets. So one of the things that's so important, and I guess if I had to give you one of the biggest tips, aside from drinking a lot of water, is you got to get the bad food out of your life. Because if it's around your house, if it's in your desk at work, if it's in your car, if it's in your purse, you're going to eat it. Don't go places that are tempting. If you were an alcoholic, you shouldn't be a bartender. It's not a good place for an alcoholic to work. If you're a foodaholic, if you're eating a lot of alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas, what I call the seven deadly sins of nutrition, plus the sugar goes to breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas, then you shouldn't be around that stuff every day. And that's where the big problem comes in. So many of us have it in the house. And if the holidays come along and people start making you cookies and they start bringing in fruitcakes, don't take them home if you work. Leave them at work. Get rid of them. Go to your house. Do it today. Go to your pantry. Go to your refrigerator. Get all the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener out of your house. And then I want you to have good stuff in your house. Have a couple of jars of pickles. Have some frozen vegetables in the house. Have some grapefruit in the house. 
Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Every day you should be taking it. So when you get those unbelievable cravings and you have to have a double beef cheese whatever, have yourself some Super Greens and Essential Source. Wait 15 minutes and you'll be amazed how much better you feel. Because Super Greens and Essential Source are supplements. They're powdered supplements. And I take them every single day. And they're on my website if you want more information, drjoesposito.com. Or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. And you can get information about it. But not only as a supplement, but also to help you with the cravings. But clean out your pantry. Only surround yourself with good stuff. And then, like when I go into my pantry and I get the hungries, the munchies, I look and I say, okay, I got cashews. I got some sunflower seeds. Wasabi sunflower seeds I just got. They're really good. And I've got frozen bags of vegetables. And I've got some lettuce in here. And i got some cucumbers. And it's like, man, I could really go for something junky. <sighs> Fine, I'll eat what I got because I'm lazy, just like you, and I'm not going to go out and get bad stuff, so I'm just going to eat what I have. And remember, you strive for progress, not perfection. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have a slip-up, but those should be maybe once every month or two. If you have five or six slip-ups a week, then you're not really trying. It's all about the progress, and like anything else you do, it gets easier the longer you do it. Every day, someone says to me, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you stay away from alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. It's just amazing. I know we went out to dinner the other night, a bunch of friends of mine, and uh, one of the gals who was there, she's turning 13. So she was there with her parents, and uh, it was an Italian place. And I just had soup. That was it. It was a vegan soup they had there. It was a minestrone soup. It didn't have a lot of pasta in it or anything, so I had that. And they were like, I don't know how you do it. All these delicious pastas and raviolis, and, and I'm Italian. And I said, it's just it's my life. I don't even consider cheesy, meaty meatball sandwiches as a food anymore. It's not even something that's even in my, my vocabulary anymore. Do I miss it? Yeah, I do. I remember how good a meatball sandwich tastes. I remember how good veal parmesan tastes. But if you knew what I knew, you would do what I do. You wouldn't put these bad stuff, these bad things in your body. This is the show, the only show on radio that I know of, that gives you straight talk on health because it's real. Sometimes you listen to speakers and you're thinking, oh, man, that person's just superhuman. Nah, I'm not superhuman. It just becomes part of a lifestyle. So work on it every single day. Now, if you need to slip back a little bit because you, you messed up, that's okay. But be consistent. The key principle is consistency. If you eat only if you eat well occasionally, that's not going to get you to your goals. I want you to aim to do it. Do your exercises. Do 10,000 steps a day. Do squats while you're brushing your teeth. Drink water first thing in the morning when you wake up. If you can do this, <clears throat> have yourself a glass of water with some raw organic apple cider vinegar in it. Apple cider vinegar is wonderful. It helps curb your appetite. It's, it has good probiotics in it, good bacteria, stimulates your digestive enzymes, and it really can help you lose weight. Now, I don't like the flavor of apple cider vinegar. And Ahmad's shaking his head. He doesn't like the flavor of apple cider vinegar. So what I do is I get a big glass of water. I add about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And then I'll add some stevia to it, or which is a sweetener. Uh, if you want to do some honey, if you want to. And drink it that way. And at least then it's semi-palatable. Or I told you to have one vegetable meal a day. Have a salad and add one, uh, one, third, one part apple cider vinegar and two parts raw organic uh, olive oil. And mix that as your salad dressing. And then you're getting your apple cider vinegar that way. My German grandparents, they used to do a lot of soups, a lot of split pea soup and lentil soup. And they would always add apple cider vinegar to it after it was cooked. And I asked my grandmother why. She goes, I don't know. Well, years later, in all the research that I've done, I realized that it stimulates your digestive enzymes to help break down what's called the raffinose, which is a sugar that's found in beans that causes the gas. So it stimulates your digestive enzymes so that you can break the food down so you can absorb the nutrients better and have less gas. Now, they knew how. They didn't know why. Now the research is showing the why. I always have to laugh. You know, the things that have been, you know, the old, uh, the old wives' tales or the things, the, the family, uh, things that have been passed down from generation to generation – we understood the why, the how, we didn't know the why. I know the big, big buzz for a while, there was bone broth. Oh, you got to eat bone broth. It's so good for you. Folks, let me tell you about bone broth. If you're not eating an organic animal, if you're eating an animal that's been fed steroids, hormones, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, genetically modified food that's been sprayed with tons and tons of grass weed killer, 
and you're making a bone broth out of that, you're killing yourself. So I don't eat animal products. But if you're going to eat animal products, they need to be organic animals. They need to be fed organically. But uh, my grandparents used to take the marrow. I remember we'd make a barley soup and scrape the marrow out of the lamb bone and eat it. Well, now it's turning out that, that, that that's the cool new trend, but they've been doing it for years. But again, 30 years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, we didn't have to worry about all the chemicals and toxic poisons that these animals are being exposed to, and now we do. And I don't see any reason that you'd ever have to eat an animal product because you can get all the nutrients that you need from a plant-based diet, which is way less expensive and no risk when it comes to those toxic chem. Well, there's a risk if, you, you know, if it's not organic and it's been sprayed, but not nearly the risk of eating animal products. And you want to be consistent. Make sure you're doing the same things over and over again. Make sure you're getting the seven, eight, nine hours of sleep. I mean, I don't do nine hours sleep. I usually do about seven. Um, make sure you're taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source every single day. Make sure you have friends that you like. You like to laugh. Make sure you're, you're doing some type of workout. You're walking. You're drinking your water. Be consistent. And when you start to see the results, you're not going to want to go back. That's the coolest thing is when you finally start to see the results, you see the pounds start to come off, you see the energy start to come back, you see that your love life is improving, your brain is getting clearer. You don't want to go back, and then you will. You'll slip up, and you'll feel awful, and you'll say, ooh, Dr. Joe was right. Folks, got to go to break. If you, wanna, if you have any questions, send them to me through my website, drjoesposito.com, which is Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. We archive radio shows there, videos of my lectures. A lot of people love the videos. If you want to order Super Greens, an essential source, if you want to order my books, uh, all on the website, drjoesposito.com. We'll sign you up for your newsletter, our, our newsletter, if you give us your email address. Hey, folks, listen, I got to go. Tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. We're going to be right back. Hey, folks, thanks for being here. Do appreciate you taking time out of your day to be with me. We're talking today about successful fat loss tips. And somebody sent me a message on Facebook. You, know, you can send me messages on Facebook, by the way. Follow me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. Uh, but I'd rather you send them to me through my website. It's a little easier for me. But uh, sometimes I'll, I'll look at Facebook and there'll be messages. And they said, you know, Dr. Joe, I hear what you keep saying, but I, I, I get excited after listening to one of your shows, or I, and then I kind of drift away. What do I do? you got to keep learning. Knowledge is power. You've heard that silly statement before, but it's so true. But only if you put it into action. The action is less likely to happen if, you've, if you're not first motivated to learn and then do it. And you have to do it over and over again. I research all day, every day. Every free minute I have in my days, I'm doing some type of research on biochemistry, neurophysiology. I know, I'm so exciting, right? No wonder I'm single, right? But I, I, I do this because when I get on the air, I know that I'm going to get questions and I have to be able to answer these questions. And the more I know, the better I get at my skills. Or, or, and I want you to get better as well by learning. So a simple thing you can do, go to my website and start downloading radio shows. Or just go to the website and listen to one after the other after the other. We have hundreds of hours. Now, some of it's going to be repeated stuff because health is, you know, it's a, there's a finite amount of things you can do to get healthy. You have to have a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. But the, the person who sent me the question said that, you know, you get excited just like anything else. You go to a seminar, you go to a movie, you leave, oh, that was great, that was great. And then a couple of days later, even a day later, you know, you know shiny objects, gotta, I'm, I'm losing my attention span. So listen to them over and over again. I videotape my live lectures. So if you're a visual learner, go to my website and watch the videos. Don't do that while you're driving, of course. You could listen to the radio shows while you're driving. And learn this over and over and over again. Students, medical students, chiropractic students, all the time, I get this constantly, I want to come be your intern. I want to follow you. Probably once every month or two, I'll have a medical doctor contact me and say, I want to come practice with you. I want to learn what you know because it's fascinating to me. I've never heard these things before. And I tell everyone, go to my website, listen to the radio shows because I've had people follow me around in my office and sometimes they, it's nice, but most of the time it's just annoying because I have work to do and they're just getting in my way. What was it? Benjamin Franklin said, right? Fish and visitors stink after three days. That's true. So I, I let people, if they want to li listen to the radio shows and watch the videos, that's a good way to learn. But, y t you know, turn off the TV, listen to my podcasts. Those are on my website. Read my books. Those are on my website. Eating Right for the Health of It and Prescription for Extreme Health. Stop watching those fake reality shows. Go to educational seminars. Come to my live lectures. And if you can't come to the live lecture, at least watch the video of the live lecture. 
and you're going to be amazed. Watch some of these new documentaries. There's so many documentaries coming out now that are just spectacular on what happens to the body, how food is made. Some of them are so disgusting. People watching go, I'm never going to eat meat again. Good. There's an old Alita Adams song back, gosh, it was probably 30 years ago now or so. And the line in the song says, I don't care how you get here. Just get here if you can. And so I don't care what motivates you. Is it the fact that you want to be healthy? Is it the fact you want to save money? Is it the fact you want to save the environment? You're an you're, you're animal rights activist. I don't care what it is. The end is the same. The end is eating a good diet, making sure your nervous system is working at 100%. If you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, that tells me that you have something wrong with your nervous system. The major, major majority of the time, it's a pinched nerve. And if we, as chiropractors, can put the bones back in place and unpinch the nerves... That takes the pressure off the nerves, and they stop hurting. Pain is a warning sign. It's telling you something's wrong. It's just that simple. And then if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, those could be signs that your stomach is pushed up against your diaphragm, and we may have to manually pull your stomach down away from the diaphragm. And in fact, the number one article downloaded from my website is on gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. So if you go to my website under blogs, you'll see Dr. Joe's articles under that. Click on that. I think it's like the fifth or sixth article down, and you could read about it. It's real quick, two or three paragraphs, and it tells you the techniques my doctors use in my offices to pull the stomach away from the diaphragm. Extremely effective for heartburn and acid reflux. And boy, I tell you what, your whole life changes when you get your digestive system working. So you start to learn that there is hope. At least three times a week, maybe more, I'll be doing a consultation with a new patient and they'll start crying. And I look at them and I say, is this the first time anyone's given you hope for your healthcare problem? And 100% of the time they say, yes. You're the first doctor to ever sit and listen to me and you're the first doctor to ever say there's hope. And in most cases, they're extremely happy with the results. I always tell people, do what I say. Do what I say for six, eight weeks. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, which I am, then you'll say, this is the lifestyle I want to lead. I want to eat good foods. I want to eat less expensive foods, which are the good foods. I want to take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source because I see the difference almost immediately. Usually after one dose, but usually after a couple of days, people say, wow, I definitely see the difference. I didn't realize how depleted my body was in nutrition. And so I started taking the foods that my body needs, which are Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Now, I do a nutritional workup. We do a nutritional workup on all the patients that come in our offices. We do them over the phone. We do them over Skype around the world because people want, if they can't get to see us, they, at least we can do a nutritional workup with them. And you can always get all the information on my website, drjoesposito.com. Or just Google Dr. Joe with a number one Dr. Joe in the world because you made us that way. So keep learning. Get excited about these things, and don't just listen to one radio show. Don't just listen to one video and go, okay, I got it, and I forgot. Once you reboot your brain, you're going to be amazed what happens because naturally, I want to get you well and keep you well. And really, you got to try to find out what it is that makes you happy. Being happy really is kind of the secret to good health. So whether your goal is to become a millionaire, you want to lose 20 pounds, you want to feel great about yourself, being grateful makes a big difference. So one of the rules I have in my life that I do every single day and I teach everyone I can this is do at least one good deed a day. Now, that good deed could be something as simple as picking up a piece of trash. I know I I like to go hiking. It's one of my favorite things. And in fact, I was kayaking the other day. I was kayaking down a river not too far from my house and I did two and a half hour kayak, which is probably a little too long. I'm getting old. I can't do those things. But I found a can floating in the river and I picked it up and it was a full can of beer which I found interesting. And I just threw it in my kayak. And then as I went down, I picked up floating bottles that were there, you know, plastic bottles and stuff. And by the time I got done with my kayak, I probably had four or five pieces of trash that I picked up. Open a door. Do something nice. Say a nice thing to somebody. I really like that shirt. Hey, you're doing great today. That little thing is going to make such a big difference in your life. And that's, a, you know, the attitude of gratitude. And when you do that, you'll be amazed how much better you feel. Folks, if you're just tuning in, you missed an amazing show. But the good news is I'm going to put it on my website for you, drjoesposito.com, along with hundreds of hours of other shows. If you want to order Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, which I really, really, really think you should. Trust me on this one. Uh, You want to get my books, Eating Right for the Health of It, Prescription for Extreme Health. Those are all on my website as well. And archive radio shows and videos, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. 
Folks, if I don't say it enough, thank you very much. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next time. Show.